Sponsored by Win-Win Technologies. A special attachment for additional buttons. It's up to you. Reality or function? I might be able to get a shot before I go. Yes, something happened. Yes, I've got some shots right now. Your engines are good too. He's got fuel leaks. I've got an oil leak. Hello, valued viewers. I hope you're all doing very well. Time for our next RC versus me warbird battle. Today, it's the Mosquito, and we thought we would shake things up a bit. Now, if you remember a few weeks ago, we did a dogfight between the P47D Thunderbolt 1 against the A10C Thunderbolt 2, and it went completely the opposite way that I was predicting. I would have thought the A10 would have smashed the Thunderbolt. It's got many times more power, it's got bigger wings, it's got bigger guns, it's got bigger and better everything. Turns out the P47 actually thrashed the A10, at least in a turn fight, even in the vertical really. The A10 could only win if it extended, ran away, used its 400 knot max speed and then turned around and come in. But in a knife fight, the jug wins, which was weird. So we thought, okay, let's follow that up with a Mosquito fighter bomber Mark VI. I'm really getting into my figures and facts at the moment, as you can see down here. It's just, it reminds me of when I was a kid and I used to play top trumps with cars and mm. uh and aeroplanes i should say uh, hello rc hello and they're also going to help us predict who's going to win as well although we're usually wrong first a10c by ed professional flight model Thirty-one thousand pounds with fighting gas and twenty-five and a half thousand pounds empty static sea level thrust just over eighteen thousand pounds can't really convert that to horsepower unfortunately that's just how it is giving it a thrust to weight ratio of 0 0.59 which is pretty bad but you know, this is not a fighter. We're only going to do guns today, obviously. Uh, it's got a GAU-8 30mm multi-barrel Gatling gun, the Avenger, which is possibly the best gun ever made. Wing loading, one of the most important things when it comes to dogfighting, as you'll find as we do more of these videos. 60.85 pounds per square foot. So that many pounds on every square foot of wing. The bigger the figure, the worse it will turn. Max speed, 381 knots. A year, the A model, built in 1972. The C model, I thought, was 1990s, early 90s. Turns out it was 2005 to 2007. Did you know that, RC, by the way? No. Warbird, Mosquito, fighter bomber variant, Mark VI. Professional flight model. Weight, for a Warbird, she's very heavy. She's mostly wood and fabric, actually, but still all adds up. Just under 18,000 pounds, so about 60% of the A10. 16,500 pounds empty. Horsepower, she's got two Merlin 25s. Merlin 25s are not my favourite of the Merlins, but they're pretty decent still. Giving a gross 3,200 horsepower. Imagine having that much power, that's at takeoff. Power to weight ratio, we do that in horsepower per tonne. It's 395 horsepower per tonne. It's pretty respectable for a big aircraft or a fairly big aircraft. Armament, and this will be important today. In the nose, it's the beauty of having a twin engine fighter, you've got room in the nose. Four. 7.7mm machine guns and four 20mm Hispano cannon. The all important wing loading 39.31 pounds for every square foot of wing. Top speed, I've had to estimate this. I could only find the Mark II and the Mark VII, the closest ones I could get. So I've averaged between and got 338 knots at uh, medium altitude. And the year is, of course, 1941. So 2005 versus 1941. So, RC, as ever, we have to make a prediction. An uneducated prediction, because we haven't tried these yet. So, let's talk about guns, first of all. One 30mm Avenger, excellent gun, versus four 7 or 8 mils and four 20 mils. I have no idea what's more powerful out of that. And they're both pretty menacing. I'm almost tempted to say the Mosquito actually has more firepower in terms of what could put the most lead per second in the air. I don't know, someone could sit and work it out, but I'm, maybe even the Mosquito's got more firepower, I'm not sure. Wing loading. The Mosquito has only 60% of the wing loading, which is good. Uh, so theoretically, in turn, it should still be able to turn better, but other things do matter, like thrust or power are important as well. Power to weight ratios, we can't really compare. Speed. The A10 has a good uh, 40, 50 knots on it, so it will still outrun it. So, I don't know. I've just been saying that, thinking I'm going to come up with an idea of what I think I know. <laughs> Any predictions from RC? I think it is only going to take one bullet from the A-10 to take go. down the Mosquito. And I don't know if the Mosquito's bullets right. 
could do much to the uh, A10. There's RC talking sense today. This is why you're here. Right. The wooden wonder, as this shoe was called, Freeman's Folly, is not going to put up with much punishment, I doubt. Whereas, well, I, I guess, it is purely guesswork. But the A10, we know, is going to put up with a bucket load of punishment. So that's a thing. Neither of these have uh, fancy gun sights. They have fixed gun sights and you kind of got an inertial snake on the A10, but it's not very good, to be honest. Well, I can't use it. I should say the A10 is going to be much easier to fly. Much, 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 much easier to fly. Modern avionics, whereas the Mosquito is going to be hard, 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 hard to fly. So that'll probably make a difference as well. Let's go and find out. I'm starting in the Mozzie. RC is five miles on the nose. We're 10, 9 or 10,000 feet above Nevada. We've never fought here before. We're going to go in three, two, one, go. Get my sight ready. Take off power. We're going to do a gentleman's merge. I'm on the nose RC. Cap guns check. Guns good. Quadruple Hispano and 303, I think, four 303s against RC's Gatling gun. I think we did so much damage, the first one to hit the other one will probably win, I imagine. What's well, the size of the cannon in that? 20s. Their Hispano's are actually good, super high velocity. Good. RC's gone for his, I don't know, you're doing something different this time. Oh, this thing shakes. Wow. This turns on a friggin' dime, that wing loading. That beautiful good wing loading, straight into lag. Pop into lead, might even be able to get a shot on him here. From... RC is trying to exit the fight and I am not going to let him. Not much point of firing from this range. Look at RC go. He's using a superior speed. Whoa! Nice turn. Okay, I might be able to clip him here. Having some problems with the rudder. They are me problems. Oh, yes, I see. I will take that. Yay! Right! First blood. First blood, I'll see. Wow, the power of it. I just took you apart, RC. Put my three threes in there. There was something satisfying about that, guys. Yeah, right. Thank you. I'm turning you. I'm turning well inside you, by the way. Yeah. Well, well I mean, I, I would expect that probably. You're definitely lighter. That was interesting. Right. Uh, we'll redo it, guys. Um, I'm happy about that. I think guys. the Mosty was made more made for somewhat for dogfighting and the A-10 was not. Yeah, that's fair enough. So the first thing I detected immediately was that I was turning well inside of him. I'm mean, Turn rates were, well, I think turn rate and turn radius as well. Now he's going to make it a bit harder for RC. Uh, obviously, he can outrun me, but we'll see what happens next time. Uh, are you ready, RC? All right, set. Three, two, one, go. Okay, I'm going straight to take off power because I need all the speed I can get. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, I was struggling to aim value for you as the rudder is super sensitive. I'm not entirely sure. I've actually got it set up right. So I'm just doing the titchiest bit of rudder and I'm just flailing a bit. So that's something for me to get used to, I think. Three, two, one, go. I'm going to try something different this time. Put this wings under too much stress. Oh, well, she's gone vertical. I've gone inverted. <laughs> that's funny. I've definitely got the turn. Look how much better I'm turning. Right, that almost gives me a chance already. Not quite. The good thing is, is RC's nose is nowhere near me. I'm going to go straight to lag now. I'm just going to a pursuit. I'm going to try and go to lag. I'm struggling with my own wing loading now. My angle of attack's too high. Try and get it straightened out. There we go. RC's not looking much of a threat, so I'm going to just keep in a nice safe lag for the time being. Trying to get his nose around, but it's not going to happen. I've just got this beautiful turn radius. I'm turning so quickly, so tightly. Okay, he's extending and he's trying to get some speed, which is the sensible thing to do. 
not much I can do to catch him up, so I'll just have to wait until he's ready to recommit. Not much point of firing from here, to be honest. Chances of me hitting is pretty much zero. Here he goes. Right, now I've got to catch him before he gets his nose on me, which I probably can do. God damn it, how did I not hit you there? I have bullets all around you, RC. Oh, I love it. I love this thing. Dogfight is like a friggin' F-16. Yeah, it's it's kind of made brilliant. For that. You're gonna you're gonna enjoy us when you get in it. I really didn't expect this. I just never get tired of how good warbirds are at dogfighting, especially in a knife fight. Oh, RC's about to do himself in. No, it's not. I can't get round. I'm a full off stick. I can't get round. I'm stalled. I'm gonna give the engine a chance to cool down because I've got the upper hand here. Oh, you are on fire. Oh, poo, yep. Minor problem with the engine valley viewers. I went up too high, I, I messed my coolant up. That was my fault. Oh, they're still turning. RC's found a way to wreck my engines look and he's gonna use that. He's gonna use that to his advantage. I might be able to get a shot before I go. Yes, something happened. Yes, I've got some shots. Right, now your engines are good too. He's got fuel leaks, I've got an oil leak. Right, let's wear him down. Was it's that the cannon or was that the gun? I don't know. Oh, that's both. I'm doing everything at once. Okay. It seems a little bit um, off because one shot from you is killing me. Roger. Well, or I think there's a mismatch. Something. I think there's a mismatch between warbird and jet damage. Anyway. Yeah, there's something not right. Uh, I'm investigating. This, this should be able to take some rounds. Roger. Yeah, I'll take it, I'll see. Right, that's the Mosquito. I am super chuffed with that, how good that was. I had no idea it was gonna be that good. Is it realistic? Probably, because these PFMs are gener generally regarded as the best and they probably know what they're doing, to be honest. Uh, obviously, I don't know, but um, I'm really happy with that as a dogfighter. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna pause it there to chat, I'll see. That's the first time I've ever used a Mosquito in a dogfight and I can see why it was called the Fighter Bomber now because that absolutely turned. The wing on it was beautiful. Well, yeah, look, that engine's going to look. The, the wing on it was absolutely beautiful. It does stall, but it's stable and it's front heavy, so it'll just tip back over and it's completely controllable. Uh, the rudder takes a bit of getting used to and the pitch is a bit unstable, but once you get used to it, I'm just really chuffed with it, to be honest. I think you're going to enjoy it. As long as you don't completely wreck the wing or something, I think you're going to enjoy it. My advice is to URC is rather than go really fast, keep a little bit slower and turn tight, and it just mm. out turns the A10. Right, let's swap round, because I want to see if I can find a way to beat it. Three, all you need to do is turn your reflector sight on everything else is done. Three, two, one, go. Right, let's see if I remember how to do this. Master arm, air to air, gun. No, already screwed it up. Gun, air to air sight. Am I doing this right? I think I am. Gun snake's not should there. should be an air-to-air. -air. That's all you really need to do is select air-to-air. Yeah. -air. All right, we'll do. Turned off. Oh, we're waiting. Hang on. I'm off. Yeah, I... Come back around here. Merging in three, two, one, go. Right. Friggin' do this. Gone low. And he's turning a lot better than me, actually, which is annoying. He's going to get a pop on me already. Right, already no, I can see right. I can't win this, so right. I am going to do what I need to do. See you later, Rossi. He's busy stalling himself out. I'm going to turn in. I'm going to recommit. Where the heck are you, Austin? 
There he is. Okay. That's where it wonders. Oh, I destroyed an AI building. Ha, ha, ha. Right, I got him. I got him. Yeah, see, if you could do this, Cap, then it's really kind of... Yeah, you know what? This is too un mismatched. I'm not a good enough pilot to really test this. Roger. Uh, what's the I think that's the problem. If you can catch me, then you have to find somebody that's better at the Mosquito than I am. Roger. Because if I can't stay away from you like you stayed away from me, then the, the whole match is, is mismatched. Okay. You don't really get a good uh, pull up, pull up. test. Got any idea of what we, else we could do? No, I mean, this is just probably not... It's probably not... All right. It's probably beyond, beyond my skill level. Let's try, then. Let's change it. Let's do... We can be in... We'll be in A10s, and we'll put the Mosquito... We'll put the AI as Mosquitoes. Let's see if we can do that. Welcome back, Valley Viewers. Um, we've had a mismatch problem, so what we're going to try and do is something a bit different. We've got myself and RC in A10s. The AI are going to fly the Mosquitoes, which are a bit more difficult to fly. They're not at the maximum skill level. They're the next one down. Otherwise, that's it. Are you ready? Guns. Air to air. DMS. Okay. Okay, RC. I'm going to go for the left guy. You go for the right guy. Let's just see what happens. Where are they? Are they ahead of us? Yeah, and no firing on fast pass because pass, we'll just chew them up completely. Hopefully they won't fire at us on first pass. Unfortunately, AI do not do gentlemen's agreements. Trying to get all the speed we can while we can. Oh, they're there. And no, they're not firing on first pass, which is good. And merge. Look at that. Gentleman AI. Let's see how they turn. God, they go fast. I'm actually going to switch to your target because mine has just fled the sea. Right. Oh, I'm already... Mur I'm going to murder this guy. I'm already on this guy that's coming after you. I'm going to one after one slow at the airport. Roger, I'm on that same one. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to get him now. I'm a stupid gun snake. Oh, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. Easy. I got another one just by the front of me. I'll go off. God here. damn it. Oh my god, why can't I kill this guy? Okay, finally I got hit. God, I rely on traces so much. It's so difficult not to. Okay, I've killed my one RC. Just keep an eye on the one that's not smoking because I don't know where he's going to go. Got him. Oh, he's down. that was easy. Right. Okay, mine was still going scratch it. Gonna yo -yo. This guy is not going to be going for very long. Where are you? Are you over the airport? I, uh, I don't really know now, to be honest. I've just gone out into the suburbs following this guy. Is he smoking? Yes. Pull up, pull up. I had real problems hitting with a gun for some reason. Oh, I see you. Yep. Right, I okay. I think he might get a crash. I think it's Yeah, he's going to crash. Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha! Die, sucker! Yeah! <laughs> Ah, uh, there we go. We'll take it. Right, that was too easy. Let's try another thing. Let's try setting their skill level to maximum. See if we can make it more of a challenge. Welcome back. Same two hostiles, but now they're at maximum skill. Let's see if they can put up a fight this time. Say when, I'll see. I don't think the AI is using their full potential, their turn potential, which is what they need if they want to win. I see one. I don't see the other. Oh, right They'll be relatively here. close to each other. Oh, yeah, I see him now. Which one are you taking? Left. They're pretty much merged now, to be honest. Yeah, okay, let's go. One's gone high. I'm going one that's gone high. That's all I know. I'm going to get straight into lag. Where is he? Okay, I'm in lag. I should beat him pretty easily. This guy's done. Yeah, you get him. Give him a bit of lead. Good hit, RC. Yeah. Well, you're a good gunner in this anyway. Right, there's another one about here, RC, so keep an eye out for him. Hang on, he's not down yet. Part of his tail off. I'm going to just cheat and spawn out where the other one is. Oh, the other one's on you. Be warned. Is he? Yeah, if you put some flares out, I will come and 
assist. Yes, tally flares. Right below you is another mozzie. I don't know what he's trying to achieve, but... Is he behind me? I can't tell. Can't tell. He's trying to get up to you, but he can't get up to your altitude, so he's... Oh no, he's smoking. Oh no, he's the one you shot. There is another one out there somewhere. They're here somewhere, I just don't know where. Well, I'm over the airfield with you. We'll just loiter around here. Oh, okay, here he is. He's above the airfield on my six. Above the airfield on my six. Okay, sir. Oh, I'm going into a rate up. turn with him, which is probably a bad idea. But... Yep, bad idea, right? Okay, switch. Uh, uh, uh. Woo! Oh, he shot me. I'm not he sure. Shot I just... you? Yeah, I can't survive this. Yes, I can, baby. Going kind a of flat spin, but I'm out. Right, we're over the airfield, low altitude. He thinks I'm dead, I think. Yes, he does. I see you, I don't see him. Is he high or low? He's behind me and low. He's a son of a gun, this guy. I just can't find him anywhere. I'm gonna do, he can see everything, so I'm going to see everything and cheat as well. There he is. <laughs> Come then, sir. It's gone high. Yeah, I got him. Lost my HUD, so I'm shooting blind. Shouldn't really adjust my chance to hit anyway. Ah, my gun's gone. Right, I'm just going to piss him off. Yo, you chewed him. You chewed him. Did I get him? He's not dead. Come out and finish him. No, I didn't get good shots on him, but... He has reduced power. That I can tell you. Oh, yeah, he is smoking. Yep. He is not fighting, so he's I ready to kill. Get... I did get some shots on him, I guess. You did. Yes, you did. Might nah, be able to wingtip him. Come and give him boom boom, that's an hors d'oeuvre. Oh, he just exploded. He just exploded. Did you hit him? I didn't, no, you did. Oh, uh, must have hit me then. Yeah, oh, he's yeah, done. Was. Right. Okay, we need to try and make sense of that, RC. So let me sit and have a think. And have a ponder in the air. So, that was a bit of a weird one, Valued Viewers, but sometimes, you know, you've got what you've got. I guess we better try, I don't know how it's going to go, but we better try us in the mozzie against two A-10s. Okay, set. Right, reflector sight, three, two, one, go. Take off power. Well, hopefully, valued viewers, they won't fire on first pass, otherwise we're going to get atomized. Right, are they going to fight? Are they going to fight? I'm not sure we can actually force these guys. No, we should be able to force these guys to dogfight. They look like they're going to dogfight. They certainly look like they're going to dogfight, RC. Yep, they're going to fight us, I reckon. Oh, maybe not. Yes, they are. They're fighting. They're fighting. Around. You sons of bees, let's get some. Right, you ain't out turning Mozzie. Mozzie turns for friggin' England. Ah, so many track IR problems. Okay, one's on you, so you got to be a little bit careful. He's not I'm in a good... One. Yeah, I've got to try to take this guy on your butt, because he's going to shoot you. Get some. It's a weird daisy chain, RC. Okay, you are safe now. I've got this guy off you. Okay. Actually, I'll take that back. I completely take that back. Come on, Cap. Yes, hits, hits, hits galore. One side problem with this valued view is that the mozzie has a half second delay on the trigger. It makes it really hard to fire on time. Yes, hits again. What's he best playing? Oh, and the blue's engine off. Blue's engine off, RC. Right, you keep pressuring your guy. I'm going to finish this douchebag off. Well, we're not proving very much here. We're proving that we're better than the AI, but that doesn't, you yeah. know, a monkey could do that. So I think we're not really going to learn anything from this, but we are having fun. Oh, this guy's just going to run like a friggin' chicken. Come on, Cap. Ah. Hit him. No. Nope. Uh, I put him out of service anyway. Yeah, my guy's running away, but I, I can't keep the rudder still enough to fire. I just haven't got enough rudder control. My guy's dead. Okay. My guy's dead as well. <laughs> Everywhere. Then we're going to have a look at him. Right, so that's my guy. He's got, oh, his, half his wings chewed off. He's got one turbine out. He's dead. Let's have a look at your guy. 
Oh, Yoga really is dead, RC. Yoga really okay. is dead. He's got some problems. Right. There you go, RC. I'm going to eject. Um, I don't think we can learn anything from that because it just wasn't a fair enough of a fight. But it did show that the Mosquito really can dogfight. It really can. And the A10 is not actually that bad. But, you know. Also, it can do decent speed in a dogfight. It can retain its speed well. Its guns are excellent. I know it takes a while to get used to, and I may need some assist on the ore or something. I don't know. I was struggling with the ore. But um, the Mosquito is actually an excellent dogfight. I'm really. I think we really almost need to take it on with another warbird with it or something. But anyway, that's that. That's the best we can do. Anything you want to add, I'll see. Nope. Okay, bye-bye.